My name is Maryam Buhilla. I am the sister of the ex-political prisoner Ghali Buhilla. Yesterday, uh, the 11th February uh, at evening, we were, uh, we were informed by a friend uh, of my brother that he was arrested at his workplace. Uh, after almost uh, 25 minutes, we were surprised uh, by uh, multiple cars of the Moroccan occupation and um, the, the special uh, forces standing in front of our house. Uh, they demanded that I and my mother should open the door. Um, they were very menacing. Uh, we refused and told them that there was no one uh, in the house except except us two. Um, they, uh, and that they already uh, had Ghali in their hands, so uh, th there was nothing more uh, they would take. Uh, moments later, uh, they broke the door and invaded the house um, in, a, in a brutal way, uh, they attacked me and my mother uh, and confiscated our cell phones. Uh, we started to scream and arguing with them, uh, but all in vain. Um, they, uh, they, they pushed us uh, and sla uh, slapped us uh, on the faces and threatened us uh, to use more violence. Uh, we tried to um, to stay uh, close to the windows uh, and yell so as to uh, inform uh, people uh, in the street uh, that, we, that we are under attack. Um, uh, although uh, they, they could do nothing for us, but at least the responsible for, 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 for this attack uh, would be known. Um, after uh, some minutes that uh, seemed uh, like hours, uh, they dragged uh, they dragged Ghali uh, inside the house um, with her with uh, he was uh, handcuffed uh, with his uh, with his hands uh, b behind his back uh, and his head and uh, face. Uh, were covered uh, like if he uh, like if he uh, would be a criminal uh, who had uh, committed a, a crime against humanity. Uh, my mother and uh, and I uh, ran um, to the middle of the house um, and told them not to beat him uh, and that he and that he is sick and um, and that he is uh, physically uh, weak and couldn't and, and can't. Uh, it couldn't bear bear uh, violence, uh, but all they do, uh, but all they did was um, to push us uh, away from him. Uh, the drive to our house uh, included uh, breaking the, the interior doors um, and destroying uh, destroying the our belongings. They found a Sahrawi national flag, uh, so uh, they took off um, the mask that was covering uh, Ghali's head and replaced it uh, with the flag uh, and started to suffocate him with it uh, until he couldn't breathe uh, and beating him at the same time. Uh, at that moment, my, my mother tried to rescue him, uh, but they pushed her um, uh, violently away. Uh, Ghali was uh, dragged to their cars, uh, so um, so we went back uh, to the window so as to um, so as to uh, to see him uh, and scream. But three or four of them uh, closed the the window uh, forcefully um, and threw us uh, harshly on the ground. Uh, after they left. Um, uh, our house, my other brother Hamza protested in, fr in, the, in the top of uh, our roof, um, raising uh, the national uh, Sahrawi flag, conveying the message that we all Sahrawi uh, wouldn't stop um, till we get uh, our uh, freedom from Moroccan occupation. My mother and I want to tell the world uh, the Moroccan occupation, um, the Moroccan uh, kingdom bear uh, full responsibility uh, for what happened and will happen uh, to my brothers 
and to us. We appeal to uh, the international community and especially uh, the United to the United Nations, uh, the European Union, and the International Committee uh, of the Red Cross uh, for urgent protection uh, for uh, of the Sahrawi population in the occupied territories of Western Sahara.